Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, and welcome back to another Dragsport Evolution 2 sandbox video. Um, I'm gonna make more, like, a campaign series, but I'm not gonna do that yet. So, in this video at the start, I was just placing amenities for the guests. I was just making sure the guests have the right amount of comfort that they needed. Uh, I just do this for a while, and then I customize the... Uh, inside the interior and the exterior of the buildings. I've also placed restrooms and evacuation shelters. So while I'm doing this, I just wanted to take a moment to talk about what other videos I'll be doing soon. I'll be doing a bunch of more Battlefront videos, or like I think two more Battlefront videos in like the next two weeks. And I'll be doing a, the a Fortnite event video, and I'll do a Warzone video. Uh, these will all be with my um, friends. Of uh, most of them will be my friends, not the Battlefront ones, but maybe the Warzone ones will, and possibly the Fortnite event one will be. I'm very excited to keep making videos for you guys, and this Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sandbox uh, series is really something I enjoy doing, so if you like it too, drop a like in the comment section. Or, or drop a like, just... Anyway. Um, so I was customizing how I wanted them. So I was just fixing up the amenities, how I want them to look. I was making sure the guests, guests were comfortable. And I was making a lot of money. I was making like $40 million. Um, I'm also going to be doing, just a quick announcement, I'm also going to be doing a, another campaign series and probably a sandbox series, both of those. So I'm excited for that, because this might be my favorite type of video to do, these Jurassic World Evolution 2 videos. So, I'm sorry, it's kind of boring, just me talking, and I'm not actually doing anything productive, besides fixing up the buildings. So, sorry about that, guys. Uh, then I went on ahead and uh, started to change up the paths and see how I could incorporate uh, more pathways for our guests and then a storm warning happened and it started to snow and personally I really like how it looks when it snows I think it looks really nice uh, tell me what you think in the comments guys uh, then I went on to the genomes and I figured out which genome I wanted to do I was thinking triceratops first because you know one of the most iconic dinosaurs uh, I was also thinking a small dinosaur but I'll put that in a little bit later so I narrowed it down, I was looking at the big dinosaurs, looking at the small dinosaurs, couldn't really figure out which one I wanted, and I sat on Triceratops. Here is just me building a nice enclosure for the Triceratops and um, the other dinosaur. There I put in the Bueller Gallery, and I connected the pathways, I got rid of this weird little gate thing I had on going. And I made a path straight through. Then I made some substations because the power was offline, which was pretty much everything. Also, I'm sorry if my commentary is a little bit dull. Uh, I've been playing Battlefront 2, but uh, I'll get off the of commentary. So then I put in some water in the enclosure because you know they need to eat, and I incubated the Patasaurus and Triceratops eggs. Now while those were cooking, I just tried to make it more suitable for the dinosaurs. I put in what the Patasaurus would like and what the Triceratops would like, and I delivered the Triceratops to the enclosure. Now the snow cleared up, it looks good now, and I kind of made like a marshy or like swampland kind of feel to the paths just to make it more interesting. I had some ginkgo, because that's my favorite, a seed plant, sorry. And then I had the Triceratops in the enclosure. Pretty nice if you ask me. Next, I added uh, more upgrades to the incubation place, and I decided on what other dinosaur I would put in there. I chose Di Drysaurus because I don't think I've ever actually used it before this video in one of my parks. I put in what it would like, and I was pretty happy with how the enclosure looked. Triceratops had a little bit of interaction, which I always try to include in one of the videos. And it's just, like I always say, it's really cool to see them interact. I delivered the Drysaurus, which is a cute little dinosaur. Here's a picture of it. 
Here's a picture of its skeleton. Uh, do that now. Actually, whoa, man, here's some Dryosaurus info. Welcome to Dr welcome to Dinosaur Facts with Ronan. Today we're on Dryosaurus. Dryosaurus is a genus of or ornithopod dinosaur that lived in the late Jurassic period. It was an iguanodont. Fossils have been found in the West United States and were discovered in the late 19th century. It was five foot six, which is a lot taller than me. It, it lived to 161.2 or 145 million years ago. It was 200 to 170 pounds. It could it differed in length from 7.9 to 14 feet. Its genus was Dryosaurus Marsh, 1894. Its diet was conifer sides and ginkgos, and it lived in Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming. It lived in a semi a uh, dry environment with distinct wet and dry seasons. The main predator of dryosaurus were small and medium carnosaurs, such as the one on the screen. These dryosaurs were built for speed, but some of them would fall back and be eaten, just like this one right now. Dryosaurus were a very interesting species, and this has been Dryosaurus Facts. Um, as always, enjoy the final cinematic. Uh, I'm sorry about the music. It's different than what it usually is. It's normally Jurassic Park music, but I got copyright striked um, twice. So the Dryosaurus effects were edited and the ending was edited. So just please enjoy the final cinematic. Like and subscribe because I got copyright striked and I had to work on the video again. So yeah, peace.